Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I wanted to share with you how you can remove old, dried, period blood from your jeans. So let's get started. By the way, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Tanya, and on this channel, I share educational videos, tutorials, and reviews. So go ahead and hit subscribe, and if you're coming back, as always, welcome back. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. We need hydrogen peroxide, cheap, you can get it anywhere for a dollar. Is the bot bag to go inside of the jeans, wherever the stain is, and baking soda. So I added the Ziploc bag beneath the stain and I'm gonna go ahead and wet it with peroxide. And this is really important because when we add the baking soda mixture, which is gonna be peroxide and baking soda, we wanna keep it moist, wet, damp, whatever you wanna call it. And um, that's gonna help lighten the jeans and return it back to its normal state. So as you can see, there's two stains on the light wash and one large stain on the medium wash. So I think it's a good idea to do a spot test if you're gonna do this at home. Um, I did not do one because I was actually planning on tossing these jeans out until I decided to try this out. So do a spot test before you do anything to your jeans, just to be on the safe side. All right, in the mixing bowl, add two tablespoons of baking soda, or more or less, depending on how many jeans you're doing, and hydrogen peroxide. And we're just gonna make it a runny toothpaste consistency. We wanna keep it on the runny side because it will dry out quickly, especially considering that we're putting it on fabric. And I'll show you how to fix that um, as the hours pass by because this is gonna sit for a few hours and um, it's gonna take probably more than one treatment depending on how dark the stain is. And we'll get to that in a minute. So we're just gonna add it to the stains. As you can see, there's multiple stains on the light wash um, pair that I have here. You know what, while we're doing this, let's go ahead and do a story time, okay? So I have PCOS and sometimes my cycles go every 28 days and other times, it's 30 to 33 days. So sometimes I do miscalculate, um, but not by that much, okay? And this particular month, I miscalculated my period by an entire week. I didn't even wear any panty liners or anything to protect myself. So I managed to ruin two pairs of jeans that you see in this video that we're gonna fix, by the way, that we're gonna fix in one day. So I got a shower that morning and put on my light wash jeans that you see on the right. So I kept the jeans on for a few hours and I noticed that I felt constricted. They didn't feel as comfortable as they usually do. And I wanted to change into something more comfortable. So I pulled out my favorite jeggings that you see on the left, the medium wash jeggings, and put them on. Now let me mind you, I didn't even know at this point that I was spotting. So that's why you see little spotting stains on this particular pair of jeans. Didn't even check them out, didn't feel anything, didn't notice anything. I put those jeans in the hamper and they sat for hours. And I changed into my favorite pair of jeggings. So I had these jeggings on for hours and it wasn't until I randomly took a nap, which is completely unlike me. I randomly take naps maybe once or twice a year. I took a nap that day in my favorite jeggings while I was starting my heaviest day of my period. Now, of course, as soon as I noticed the stains, I washed them with cold water and um, ran them through the washing machine a few times. They were both still stained. So I took them out of my jean rotation and put them in my closet. And um, I forgot about them, to be honest, until recently when I did a period haul and I decided to come on here and do a whole series on periods. And why not include a video on how to clean your jeans after you have an accident? In particular, when the blood is dried for days, weeks, and months. Okay. All right, back to the tutorial because I kind of went on a tangent there. So I'm keeping the mixture from drying out by using peroxide every four hours or so. I kept the first solution on for about eight hours and then I washed them in the washing machine. And then I decided to do the treatment again um, just to see if I can get a little bit lighter and get everything out completely and I did that one overnight. So this is the first time around. So I'm washing them after eight hours and I will share with you what they looked like when I took them out. So here are the jeggings after one treatment and you can kind of see where the stain was. And here's the stone wash pair. And as you can see, only one stain remained after the first treatment. So I'm really happy about that. I decided to do an overnight treatment and this is the next morning. So I did cover it with a plastic bag to try my best to prevent um, the mixture from drying out too quickly. 
because after it's dried, it's not really active anymore. But um, being that it was overnight and I wasn't re-wetting it, obviously it's pretty dry. But anyway, let's go ahead and wash these up and see what the final results are. If you're liking this video thus far, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit subscribe already. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the end results. Here's the before for the medium wash and here's the after. So there's a really big difference there. And I probably will do a few more treatments, by the way, just to make sure it's completely gone <laughs> before I wear these again. But I think the two treatments that I did really helped a lot. So this definitely does work. So before you toss your jeans because you think they're ruined, they're probably not. Try this instead. This works great on light and medium wash jeans. I'm not exactly sure how they'll work on dark wash jeans. So you might have to test that one out yourself and let me know. So down in the comments below, share with me a funny story of a period miscalculation that you've had. I am interested in knowing. Um, I've had quite a few, but nothing like this. So anyway, I hope this video was helpful. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Until next time.